find the coupon like at all times and it's so warm and so mm -hmm. when this time of day happens it just blends in well yeah it's, it's really beautiful well cool <laughs> What have you been up to today? I've had a busy day today. I um, went climbing with Sick. my friend Cam, and that was great. And then I met up with my other friend, and we knitted. She taught me how to knit. I'd never knitted before, so. And then I came here straight from that. Where did you go climb? Climb east. Oh, just right over here. Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you yeah. mainly boulder, or do you... Yeah, I mainly boulder. Sport. I don't know if it's like certification, but I don't know how to belay yet. I think it's belay certified yeah, or something. Yeah, belay certified. But I don't know. Bouldering is just a lot easier and like simpler, and you don't have to like right. put on a harness and, and like carry all the gear. Yeah, and like make sure no one falls <laughs> and right. like that kind of thing. There is so much more involved with that. And yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I prefer bouldering over... Mm -hmm. I think maybe I'll, I will try belaying and stuff like that eventually, but... Have you climbed outside? I have one time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where, where was that at? I don't know. It's like an hour outside of Nashville, but I can't remember exactly the exact place. But it was really fun. I would definitely do it again. Cool. Yeah, I... Grew up on a on a mountain, so we had like boulders the size of this house at the bottom of my street. Oh wow! And I'd climb them all the time. That's just, really fun. <laughs> so I've been climbing since I was like three years old. Yeah. My oldest brother is a professional rock climber. No way! That's really cool. So, uh, like, he's eight years older than me, so he was kind of like my babysitter mm -hmm. a lot growing up. So I would have to go climbing with him. <laughs> Which was fun and all, but like, yeah, he would be he like I just had, intense. Yeah, he's like, yeah. So, and he's like, dude, I don't know, like try and put me in all this stuff, and I was like, I just want to have fun, and like I would basically sharp or sharpen sticks or like my brother Wit and I would make little spears out of shards of rock that we'd find chipped away off the wall. <laughs> And stick them in sticks, and then we would use the climbing tape to make them, and then yeah, and just go. <laughs> just, we would just go play around. <laughs> yeah. and, That's fun. And Laban was like, "How are you going to get a climb?" I don't know, but yeah. That sounds fun. It was fun. <laughs> I explored a lot. Well, let's get started here. Alrighty. Hey everyone, welcome to the Nashville Artists. I'm Jordan, and today Sarah Collins is here. Hello. Welcome to my house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, I was honored when you uh, when you asked me to do this. It was so, very exciting. Awesome. <laughs> well, feelings are mutual. So, where are you from? I'm from Knoxville, oh. Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. It's like two and a half hours outside of Nashville. Right. You, you know it. I'm from Chattanooga. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. Look, I'm out, but yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have any siblings? Mm-hmm. I have two older brothers. Oh. Yeah, they're like... The oldest is like eight years older than me, and the other one's like six years. But what are their names? Josh and Nathan. <laughs> are they creative or do artistic stuff? I think they both do have like creativity, like in them. Like Nathan was much more creative when he was younger, but like now he would say he's not creative at all. But my oldest brother Josh, he's very creative and is like into poetry and photography and. Loves that kind of thing, so yeah. Awesome. Do they live? Where do they live? Kind of so Josh lives in Waco, Texas. Oh, he wow. recently moved there, and then Nathan lives in Knoxville. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, what were you into as a little kid? Oh, I guess the main thing was soccer. I played soccer since I was like five to like when I graduated high school. And that kind of, like, was my life for most of, like, my adolescence, I would say. But other than that, I, I mean, I've always loved art. Like, I would doodle in school, like, all the time and, like, get in trouble for it sometimes. And I had, like, a stint of, like, getting into photography and, like, making my own videos, like, when I was younger and just, like, just random stuff. I've always been very, like 
into or having like short spurts of like creative hobbies yeah like ever since i was little like nothing has ever like well maybe not nothing but i've never had like a main thing i guess especially when i was younger but yeah what would you like to draw or doodle oh i uh i guess like squiggles (laughs) would be like the best way to describe it kind of it like it would kind of look like worms but it was like a pattern that I would always make like on the edges of of notes and stuff but then it could be anything like characters or yeah whatever <laughs> nice what other like creative things did you where you played soccer mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember I kind of have like a really bad memory <laughs> but I'm trying to think I mean, drawing was definitely probably the main thing. I would write stories sometimes when I was younger. And then I would, like, put on shows for my parents or, like, dance or, like, I don't know. Just doing lots of random creative stuff when I was younger. Gotcha. Yeah. How did you, like, what first got you into art? Mm, I guess I would say, like, my mom was probably... Like, I don't know if she would say she's creative, but I think she's creative. Like, she's always been interested in, like, interior design. And, like, when I was younger, she had, like, a faux painting business. So she would... And faux painting is kind of, like, like textured painting in, like, commercial... Or residential homes. So, like, it would be, like, stucco. Or, like, she could make, like, fake brick. Like, paint fake brick. Or, like, stuff like that. And sometimes I would, like, go with her on jobs and stuff. So I feel like I probably get a lot of, like, my creative-ness from her. And I would say my brothers, too. Like, my brothers have always been, like, a big influence for me. And kind of, like, whatever they would do, like, I would get into, you know? Especially as, like, the pretty younger sister. Like, Nathan would be... When he was, like, in middle school, he would, like, draw a lot and stuff. And so I would do that. And then he played soccer, so I wanted to play soccer. So I feel like they've always had, like, a an influence on me. So I guess, like, family would, would be how I, like, got into art, if that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That's how I got into climbing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, what the people they you did. love are into, you're yeah. into, kind of. Right. Yeah. yeah. They seem to be having fun. I want to, you know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Does your mom do, like, art stuff or... Probably, like, her main hobby, I guess, would be, like, interior design. Like, she's always kind of, like, updating our house. And she'll do, like, like any project you can imagine or something. Like, like one really cool project she did, she made this, like, fake antique mirror. Um, and she, like, made it look old by using, like, acid or something on it. And, like, it's really big. And so she's made that. She's, like, DIY'd, like, furniture. And she just, like, has a really good vision, just, like, overall. Yeah. She can, like, see the end result really well. I think so. Yeah. And she's always, like, looking at furniture, like, on Facebook Marketplace or, like, wherever. And, yeah. Yeah. Is your dad also artistic? Um, not that I know of. Like, I feel like maybe when he was younger, he would, like, draw. But I don't know if that's true. What, what do they do? <laughs> My dad owns a commercial painting company. Oh. So that's, like, like parking garages and hotels, kind of, like, basic painting. But he's, I feel like he's much more of, like, a, like, business type guy. Oh, yeah. And maybe a little bit less creative than my mom, I would say. What does what your mom do? She works at, like, a consignment store, but, yeah, she just does whatever. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, did you do art or anything in school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I took a couple art classes. Like, I remember in high school it wasn't, like, a def- that definitely was, like, not a priority, so I think I only took, like, two or something. But, yeah, I mean, well, I took a photography class. But, yeah, I always just did a little bit of everything, like, creatively. I never, I've never really done ceramics or, like, anything like that. 
I feel like I haven't really had like the the tools to do that or anything like that. But yeah. Nice. Would you say like other than your family, what other early influences? Hmm. Were there like movies or anything else that you? Oh yeah, I'm sure. The the thing that comes to mind for me is like the um like the Magic Treehouse books. Oh yeah. I think about them all the time. I read those a lot. Yeah, I think they're very much like a part of my psyche, I think, cuz I read them so much and just love them and I feel like I would just like be transported, you know? I guess that's something that really inspired me when I was younger. I'm trying to think what movies or was it like pictures for other artists? Or yeah. Like... It's funny, like, when I was in high school, like, before, until high school, like, I didn't really look at other artists' stuff. Like, I didn't really know other artists and stuff. I kind of just, like, you know, did my own kind of artistic thing without any, like, reference for anything else. But when I went to college, that kind of changed. So I don't know if I have specific artist from when I was younger but I mean as for right now like there's a few painters that I really really love Rothko is like someone I've always loved Rothko? Mm -hmm. and also like illustrators are really inspiring to me yeah yeah I can't really think of any specifics like I said my memory is kind of shit (laughs) so like thinking of when I was younger like (laughs) <laughs> like specific things that inspired me, I'm like, ooh, that's hard to think, think of. What uh, movies were you into when you were younger? I don't know. Maybe you'll remember this, but do you, the Three Ninjas? Oh yeah, dude. I fucking love that. I remember that movie. Yes, and I actually, I need to watch it <laughs> because it was those movies were very visceral for me, and I don't know why, but. Oh yeah. They were so much fun. I loved, like, the kabuki masks that they would wear. Like, I thought that and, was like, so cool. And, like, intruders, and you set yes. traps for them. I loved that. It was, like, yeah. Home Alone, but it was, like, these kids were, like, all, there's three of them. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. Loved those movies. I mean, if we're talking, like, way, way back, like, things that I remember visually, like, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast is something I think about sometimes, and that was... Definitely, like, a cartoon I loved watching when I was, like, little, little. Um, In the Ferocious Beast. Yeah. It's, like, this little girl with, like, red curly hair, and then she has, like, a best friend who's, like, this beast. But he's just, like, he's almost like an elephant or something. And he has, like, big red spots. He's yellow with, like, big, big red spots. And they would just, like, have adventures together, and it was awesome. Yeah. I pro- if I saw a picture of it, I'd probably recognize it. Probably, it yeah. It sounds familiar. It reminds yeah. me of that, what was it, like Charlie and the Dragon or something like that? It's like the dragon's animated, but yeah. it's in a real... Yeah, that lot. sounds familiar. Yeah, whatever that may be. There are a lot of those, I feel like. Is that like the luck dragon thing? I don't know. It was like <laughs> in, the, in the 90s, there was this like kid. Everyone was like live action except for the dragon which was like animated mm. I can't I don't know if I called. remember it but sounds fun <laughs> <laughs> so graphic design photography fine art why would you say like you're drawn to these yeah why am I drawn to these I feel like I've always been more in tune with like visuals than like than like words or or and I've also I've always felt like I struggle like getting my words out or like I can never explain things very well and so I feel like art and graphic design and stuff like that has been has helped me to express myself more when like words kind of fail me or like I don't don't really know like how to tell people about like those sides of me I guess but yeah yeah I think it's just been like my main form of like self-expression because other ways of like expressing myself doesn't really like I feel like I can't 
do it, it well. Get it across what you want to say. Exactly, right? yeah. Without having to say it. Yeah. Yeah. How do you develop your artistic skills? Hmm. I think, like, looking at other artists' stuff and kind of a good starting point when I'm, like, trying out, like, a different medium or different style or something is, like, looking at different artists and kind of, like, mimicking what they've done and then kind of do that progressively and then, like, eventually you'll, like, find your own style with, like, that new medium or something like that. And then also just, like, repetition, like, continuing to work with like a certain medium and like not giving up when it doesn't look good like the first time you do it which is definitely something I struggle with because I don't like I don't know I don't like not being good at something (laughs) that sounds weird but like I want things to come easy to me which like I think everyone feels that way but I get very frustrated very easily so (laughs) I started back in December climbing. That's um, when you started? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had climbed before COVID, like, regularly, and then COVID happened, and then I stopped my membership. But, yeah. Nice. Yeah, still learning, still getting, like, the calluses on my hands and stuff. Right. <laughs> As I get better, but... That's what it's all about, yeah, you gotta get it all... Yeah, gotta get, the get it tough. Yeah, so you don't tear your skin mm-hmm. flappers <laughs> yeah yeah i haven't climbed in a while <laughs> i mostly just go to the gym but or i'll climb when i go back home mm-hmm. to go, but I yeah been to a gym in a while yeah i want i want to get i want them to create like a ninja warrior gym here Ooh, they do have, those exist they have one in chattanooga oh that's yeah, cool. It's like called Synergy Climbing. Hmm. It's really, have I you tried I the Ninja been, course? No, I haven't been to it. <laughs> but I know that they haven't. I need to go try it. Yeah. But that sounds it. really fun and also like really hilarious. Like you get to attempt time. it, like whatever yeah. variation that they set up. Huh. That's cool. But anyways, so how would you best describe the type of artist you are? Oh, God. Um, (laughs) It's hard to express. I'm all over the place. I was kind of thinking of this on the way over here. I guess I would say I'm like a serial hobbyist or something like that. Because I have so many different interests all going at the same time. Like, I have like an illustration project that's like very cute and like childlike. And then I have like my personal art that's more like floral and more like abstract and like a little bit more serious and then I have other like random hobbies that I'm interested in as well so and my style is always changing and evolving and like I don't know that's such a hard question I'm kind of all over the place (laughs) I understand yeah of all time what are your some of your favorite artists or who are your big influences right now and yeah all time agnes martin is an artist that i love 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 she she made like modern i don't know if abstract's the right word but she would make like grids a lot in her work but it would be like hand-drawn and like she was very meticulous and her work is like very very simple and straightforward and like but like I feel like when you see it it's just like so beautiful even though it's just like a grid or like graph like pencil on on paper or like I don't know it's just like very beautiful to me and like the fact that she took so much time to make something looked so perfect but it was like just her you know she didn't have like i don't know like machines or anything it was just like her doing it right but so she's like a big influence of mine although my my work doesn't really reflect her at all (laughs) and then a french painter i'm I'm gonna like butcher her name but it's like ines longeville i don't 
I really don't know how to say her first name, but she makes these really beautiful portraits. I think of herself primarily. I think there are, a lot of them are self-portraits, but she uses these really beautiful like pastels and like and like her brush strokes are like really evident in the paintings, which is really beautiful, but it's also like really thin. Like I think sometimes when I think of like seeing the brush strokes, I think of like thick paint or something like that, but her stuff is like very very thin and light. So I really love her work. Camilla Ingstrom, she does like landscape paintings, but they're um, they're very like kind of cartoonish in a way. I love her work. Rothko was an abstract painter and he's a little bit on the vein of like Agnes Martin where he would do like like washed out like rectangles. With, and with like really beautiful colors, just like flat color, but it was like, when you see it in person, it's like very moving. And I, I actually didn't know I was such a big fan of him until I saw one of his pieces in person. And then I was like, holy shit, this is so good. But I couldn't really like explain why. It's just like being in front of it was just like so beautiful. But it was like, I don't know the name of the painting, but it was like an orange rectangle, but like a purple rectangle. But it was like amazing. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some other artists that I really love. Illustrator-wise, I really love this girl. She goes by Furry Little Peach. (laughs) But her illustrations are, like, so, so cute. And she's, like, probably one of my biggest inspirations for, like, my, uh, like, children illustration thing. Yeah. The list could go on. But... (laughs) So, where do you find inspiration? I find it a lot in, like, nature, I would say. Like, in my personal work, I really love, like, florals. I really love kind of the organic shapes in nature. And I feel like the most beautiful thing around us is nature. So, like, that's what I would want to imitate, you know, uh, or, like, get inspiration from. But... I also really love, like, pastry, (laughs) like, cakes and stuff. Like, I follow a ton of, like, cake Instagram accounts on Instagram. Or, yeah. And there's, like, stupid, talented, like, cake artists everywhere. Like, they're so good. And, like, there's one person, they go by, like, Yip Studio, Y-I-P Studio. And they make these cakes that look like rocks, kind of. But, like not like real rocks like cute rocks (laughs) like cute fake rocks i love their stuff there's another like cake artist i can't think of it but i don't know the colors that they use like the shapes that they use in their stuff like that's very inspiring to me and and like floral artists like florists who like do arrangements and stuff that's also a lot where I get my inspiration. Yeah, I would say those are the three main things. <laughs> nice, cakes, yeah. flowers, and nature. Boom, yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. What would you say your strengths and weaknesses as an artist are? Oh gosh. I feel like my strength and my weakness would be kind of like my my urge to do like different mediums or to like do like I can never stick to one thing and I think that is definitely a weakness in that like it's hard for me to like really get into like one craft and really like perfect it because I just either I get bored or like I just like get to a stopping point where it's like to go farther it would be like investing a lot more time or like something like that And so I think that's definitely something that hurts my art in a lot of ways. But on the other hand, I feel like it does help me to, like, think of different mediums in different ways, if that makes sense, because I've, like, tried a lot of different things. Um, I've been interested in different things. And so, yeah, I guess that could be a... Yeah, I like, diversity and, like perspective yeah yeah 
but... <laughs> I know you said it's hard to like stick with a medium, but what would you say is your favorite medium? Hmm... I guess I would have to say drawing, like in my roots. <laughs> because I've done it for so long and it's changed so much throughout the years, like what I draw and how I draw. And that really is like the backbone of like any paintings I've made or like, or I'm like, I'm wanting to get into like tattooing, like doing like stick and poke stuff. And that like starts with like drawing and thinking of concepts and stuff like that. And like also with graphic design, which is what I do like professionally, I think like sketching out ideas and like just getting ideas down on paper like that comes that's like the backbone is drawing of that so yeah i'd say drawing do you work somewhere for graphic designer mm-hmm. i work at like a social media advertising agency nice yeah how is that it's all right yeah. it's my first like full-time job out of school so i'm very thankful for that but I think I would like to pursue something different in the future. Obviously, it's my first, you know, big girl job, I yeah. guess. Yeah, where, <laughs> where did you go to school? Belmont. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just graduated? I graduated in 2021. Oh. Okay. So it's, it's been a little bit, but... What did you major in uh, graphic design? Yeah, like the specific name of the, of the major was design communications. Oh. Um, I don't know why they called it that, but it was... It's graphic design. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So you, you've you been in Nashville since you went to school there? Yeah, I've been here like six years now, I think. Okay. Yeah. And that's what initially brought you here? Mm-hmm. School? Yep. What would you say is something you've learned living here? Hmm. I think a lot of times, like, I think all artists here, like, really want or maybe not all, but I feel like a large majority, like, every artist, like, wants every artist to succeed, you know? Like, I feel like there's lots of, like, collaboration here, and and I feel like everyone, because I feel like it, there is, it's, like, pretty tight-knit at the same time, or it feels that way. Like, I feel like you'll run into someone that you know, like, no matter where you go sometimes. And I think we all like look at each other's stuff and like it inspires us like I think we're all very inspired like by the community like whether we know it or not you know right and I think we're always trying to be better like I think so many artists in Nashville make such amazing stuff and I think it just kind of like builds like everyone wants to keep getting better because they see their friends like doing amazing work and stuff like that yeah it's like a melting pot it's a melting pot yeah yeah Wow. Which is which is cool. That's a really cool thing about Nashville, I would say. Yeah, it pushes everyone to be their best. Mm-hmm. So if you're getting into that too, awesome. That's yeah. So cool. I'm going to try and figure out this. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like a lot of people share other people's art in Nashville. You know, like I, I see people that I didn't know knew each other or something, like po- like reposting or like sharing or be like, check out this artist and like sharing each other's music. I feel like everyone just like is excited for everyone else. Yeah, and keeps I feel like the bond. Yeah. The community and at least that's what I've seen. I don't, that's probably not the case for everything, but yeah, I mean, there's probably yeah. always special cases, but for the most part, yeah. Everyone seems pretty, very happy for everyone to succeed. Yeah, I think so. Like us against the, the world, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Not against the world, I guess. Nashville the system, the world. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, like, for sure. will prevail. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of people are open to, like, helping each other. Yeah. Like, if that's, like, lending someone, like, art supplies or, like, taking photos for a friend or, like... Being an opening band. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone seems to be pretty happy to help, which is really nice. Yeah. What is some advice you would give to someone who's going to move here and do art? Hmm. <laughs> knowing, um, knowing what all you know now. All my knowledge. <laughs> uh, well, you, I mean, like, when you cut here for a freshman year at Belmont or whatever. Yeah. I'm sure your perspective has changed from then until now. Yeah, for sure. 
I don't know. It's I feel like it's different in certain scenarios. Like I came here for school, so it's a little bit different. Like I didn't really have to like fight tooth and nail to like find people that I had similar interests with. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you're coming here like not in school or like without kind of like a I don't know, a focused thing, I would say like kind of get out there and like talk to people and kind of not think about yourself too much like how you're being perceived or something that's definitely something that I think about like way too much and I think everyone's like very happy to get to know new people here so yeah like either that if that's going to shows or like gallery openings and like going and saying hi if you can like overcome the fear in that like it really does it really does pay off. Yeah, that's huge. Don't worry about how you are perceived because that is yeah. like everyone's fear in the beginning. And no one's no one's thinking it, you know? Like no one's really thinking about how you're Exactly, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. everyone's thinking like, Oh, how am I being? you know. Yeah, but in the especially I feel like in the beginning when I first got here, everyone's so good, everyone's got their thing going on. Yeah. It takes you a while to like be okay with well, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Yeah. And I think Also, like, one of, like, the longest job I had when I was, like, in school was at this coffee shop, and my coworkers that I met there are, like, some of the most amazing people. I never would have met them if I hadn't worked there, and I feel like that's important, too. Like, if you're moving to Nashville or something, like, I think finding a job where there's people who you really admire, like, who you think you probably wouldn't get to know outside of that you know like if they're really different from you I think that's a really beautiful thing to like work and get to know people who are different than you and like have different upbringings and stuff like I like they seriously everyone I work, worked with there was was wonderful and has like taught me a lot and like they were all just like amazing people <laughs> so yeah <laughs> What is your biggest personal growth from last year to this year? That's a really good question. Hmm. I think maybe like knowing my worth more professionally, like in my job and and like freelancing and stuff, like really taking pride in like my work and like working hard for it and just like valuing my time like before or I guess like maybe at the beginning of last year like I would take on projects that I really like either weren't interested in or like my schedule like didn't really allow a lot of time for it so I would kind of like bust my ass to like get it done but like not have fun at all and not really be inspired by it so I think now I'm a lot more like picky with that sort of thing and yeah, just valuing my art and my time more, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Changing subjects here. Mm-hmm. What are some of your favorite YouTube videos, or what do you like to watch on YouTube? <laughs> I really like cooking ASMR <laughs> videos on YouTube. There's this one account called Cooking Tree, and it's just like, I think they might have like really faint music in the background, but they just like make cakes and stuff. But it's like very calming and like it's very bright. I love it so much. So I watch I watch that a lot. Furry Little Peach, the illustrator I mentioned before, she has a YouTube channel and she does like a lot of like studio vlogs and she like talks about her as a creator and illustrator and gives like tips and stuff and I like watching her. I feel like there's another realm, too, but I can't think of it. Like, another realm of YouTube that I enjoy. (laughs) Yeah, well, I guess those are the two main things. Okay, cool. Yeah. Was there anything else you want to add that I might not have asked you about? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You had a lot of good questions. Do you feel like I've asked enough about what you do and who you are? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well, here's the last one. What is something absurd you love or do? Something absurd I love or do? <laughs> Man. 
something absurd I do or or I used to do. I like really love pickles, and I would like. I don't do this really anymore, but I would like. I would almost go through like a full jar of pickles, and I would like drink the juice as well. That's definitely absurd. I'm I'm a. I'm really a clean freak. Like I. I'm like constantly cleaning to like my detriment. Like I won't have, like I won't just chill at my house. I'll like have to like clean up my room, which I've been better about that, but <laughs> that's kind of absurd. Oh, something absurd I love. I started watching Grey's Anatomy and I love it. It's great. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Is I that like an absurd show? It's pretty absurd. And just like crazy things happen that would never happen in an OR like hospital. That, that I know of or and yeah I wanted to get into something that would like be with me for like a long time like I'll probably be watching it throughout this entire year so I love that nice. <laughs> yeah yeah I get I'm sure I can think of a lot of other things but nice. <laughs> well, thank you for coming here yeah of course thank I had you fun. for being on yeah.